what's up guys and gals my name is rick 9g thank you so much for joining me today we're going to be talking about the tv show the monsters thank you to everyone who has subscribed and who has supported the channel you have made this channel grow and grow so much during this past year i am so appreciative more specifically i'm going to be focusing on the show in regards to the black or white or the colorized version of the show now you may not have known that the monsters originally started in color and what i mean by that is if you look at the original pilot the pilot of the show was shot a hundred percent in color it even had different actors playing lily monster she was known as phoebe and not lily as well as eddie who wasn't played by butch patrick but by happy derman now they made a lot of changes they changed the actors from happy derman to of course Butch Patrick and then we got the amazing Yvonne DiCarlo as now Lily Munster. There's also some differences in makeup on both Grandpa, of course on Lily, and as well as on Herman, which I made a whole video on. So in case you wanna see that, go ahead and check it out. Now coming back to this video, again, focusing on the fact that the pilot was in color. Now just to let you know, that is extremely rare. I'm gonna talk about other shows that also had their pilot that were not in color. Even going back to I Love Lucy, yes, I know this was 1951. Of course, the entire show was in black and white. Now, in the present day, they began to colorize a lot of these episodes. But moving on to the 60s, for example, the show The Addams Family was the first of these shows from the 60s where they started contemplating color. That was something that they decided to go against after the show was canceled. But after the second season, they were really considering filming the show in color. Now, you may not have known that The Munsters was released or aired only about a week after The Addams Family on September 24th, 1964. And like I said, the pilot episode was in color, but then they reverted back to black and white. Now, I will come back to that and the reasoning, but I want to cover other shows and let you know how pretty much groundbreaking it was to film the pilot of a show in color, especially in 1964. Now, Gilligan's Island aired September 26, 1964, all the way to 67, and believe it or not, the pilot was filmed in black and white, not in color, so that's a deep contrast to the monsters that came before it, so they had the capability, but they didn't do it. And of course, in season two, they started filming all the episodes in color as well as season three. Season one was completely in black and white. Now moving on to another show that is comparable, I Dream of Genie, that started in 1965 all the way to 1970, and the episodes did begin in black and white, but later in 1966, they began to be shown in color. So notice this, the monsters being squeezed right in the middle, actually being one of the earlier shows, was able to do color very early on. Now this of course begs a question, then why didn't they film the entire series of the monsters in color? They definitely had the capability of doing it. It would have been revolutionary. It would have been the very first show that was pretty much in prime time that was popular at the time that would be in color. Maybe it would have made it last over the two seasons. But this is the question that I want to explore because you may be surprised to know that there are conflicting theories as to why it was shot in black and white. Now there are two of them that are pretty much predominant, and the first one is very simple. And that is because, well, the studio was being cheap. They didn't want to dish out all the money and spend extra money to shoot the series in color. It would have taken a little bit more difficulty, a lot more money, and they had to be a little bit sharper with the makeup and things like that. Now, color television at this time in films, they were taking off, but you had to have that equipment upgrade in order to see it in color. So many people would have probably seen it in black and white anyway, if that makes sense, if they didn't have that proper equipment. But there are also claims, and there's a conflicting idea, that the studio was afraid that the color version of the show would be too scary for young children. Now, I would go and recommend that you look at a photo. In fact, I'll put a photo up of the monsters in color. And think about this, if small children would see this, I don't know. They may have been afraid. Remember, again, you may see this now and think this is not a big deal. But in the 1960s, it was something that was not seen. It was like seeing the first Frankenstein movie in color. And that made some people actually faint in the theater. So that's pretty interesting to know. 
However, there is the nostalgia factor of the black and white. It does tie it into the original Frankenstein movie and what they were trying to go for. Because remember, this was Universal. It was filmed at Universal Studios. And so it gave that tie to the horror genre that they probably wanted. Which of these do you think is more plausible? Maybe both of them, maybe neither of them. Maybe you have a better theory. I'd love to know down in the comments below. If you don't know, I look at all these TV shows that I covered today, Adam's Family, Munsters, Gilligan's Island, I Dream of Jeannie, I Love Lucy, and many, many more. So go ahead and take a look. I think you'll enjoy. And don't forget, guys and gals, be hopeful.